Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. AC Pearl Quotes In this video I will explain about, Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius is as Emperor of Rome, Aurelius has the responsibility to run the greatest empire the world has ever known. He would continue to reign in prosperity for the next 20 years, becoming one of the great kings in history. Did you know that, Marcus Aurelius once said, Everything we read or hear is only an opinion, not the truth. Everything we observe is a viewpoint, not the reality. Stop wasting time debating the qualities of a decent man. Be one. If you are bothered by something outside of yourself, the pain is not caused by that item but rather by your estimation of it, which you have the capacity to change at any time. Think on how fortunate you are to be alive, to think, to appreciate, and to love as you get up in the morning. Being unlike the one who caused the harm is the finest form of retaliation. The color of one's ideas becomes stained in the soul. Accept the things that fate has bound you to, and love the people that fate has brought you together with, but do it from the bottom of your heart. A man should not dread death, but rather the fear of never starting to live. Never let the future to bother you. If necessary, you will combat it using the same tools of reason that you use to defend yourself against the present. Our life is created by the thoughts we have. The goal of life, rather than siding with the majority, is to avoid joining the ranks of the mad. If something is wrong, don't do it, if something isn't true, don't mention it. The easiest way to get even is to not be like your opponent. Reject your perception of injury, and the actual injury will go away. How much more tragic are the results of wrath than their origins? As Epictetus once said, you are a small soul dragging around a corpse. What we do today has eternal repercussions. The first guideline is to maintain a calm spirit. The second is to confront reality and recognize things for what they are. Don't behave as though you'll live a thousand years. You are threatened with death. Be excellent as long as you are alive and as long as you have the ability. Here is a rule to keep in mind in the future whenever something tempts you to be angry. To bear this worthily is good fortune, rather than, this is disaster. Search deeply within yourself because there is a wellspring of power there that will always appear if you would look. How much time one saves by focusing solely on what oneself does to produce something just and holy rather than what one's neighbor says, does, or thinks. Consider yourself to be dead. Your life is now over. Take what's left now and live it right. The absence of light causes its own gloom. If someone can convince me that what I believe or do is wrong, I will gladly alter my behavior because I am searching for the truth, which has never genuinely caused harm to anybody. The one who continues to deceive himself and act ignorantly suffers. Whenever you are about to criticize someone, stop and consider which of my flaws most closely resembles the one I am going to condemn. I frequently wonder why every guy loves himself more than all the other men, yet yet values the opinions of others more highly than his own view of himself. Consider yourself to be dead. Your life is now over. Take what's left now and live it right. The absence of light causes its own gloom. Beginning each day with the thought, 
Today I shall encounter with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will, and selfishness, all of these owing to the offender's ignorance of what is good or bad, is a technique for avoiding conflict. You can glimpse the future too if you look back over the past with its shifting empires that grew and fell. Because you have the option to withdraw into yourself whenever you choose. The obstacle to action promotes action. What is in the way eventually becomes the way. The cosmos is change, and our lives are products of the thoughts we have. Remember that a good life may be created with very little effort. The value of a man is equal to the value of his objectives. Never consider anything beneficial to you that will cause you to violate your word or lose respect for yourself. Your days are running out. Utilize them to widen the sun-facing windows of your spirit. If you don't, you will soon go down with the sun. Receive without arrogance, release easily. Stop talking about what a decent person ought to be. Simply be one. You have the option to withdraw whenever you choose. The key to inner peace is to organize your thoughts well in your own space. How absurd and bizarre it is to be astonished by anything that occurs in life. In addition, keep in mind that every man only lives in the present, which is an indivisible point, and that the remainder of his life is either in the past or is uncertain. Set aside other things, hold to the precious few. The lifespan of a man is brief, and the area of the world where he resides is little, thus, the longest posthumous renown is also fleeting, supported only by a string of helpless people who will soon pass away and have little knowledge of either themselves or a long-deceased person. It is a quote from Marcus Aurelius, from the quote is that we take from the bright side, leave the unnecessary and learn for the future.